to be that little setup where I gave you that right toe dropping back. What we call that is bowler, right? You're essentially bowling the ball towards this wall over here, right? Feet, right foot back. That is forcing you to manage your upper body a little better relative to before. Um, certainly, actually, before I get into that, let's just talk about this address position real quick. Um, again, I think some of this has to do with the length of the club. I don't think it's all on you. I think just naturally you have to try to raise everything higher because that club is so long. So what I would say is, um, obviously I gave you a shorter club and that certainly helped the address position. You can see that in the spine. Spine's a little bit more neutral. Shoulders are not shrugging upward. This is more natural of a position for you to be in. If you don't get another club, in the meantime, you can certainly just grip down. Right? If you have to grip down all the way to the end of the grip for right now, so be it. But I'd rather you get set up like you are here on the left. And effectively, what's going to happen when you grip down too is it's actually going to flatten the club out. So it'll make it sit a little flatter to the ground. It won't sit so toe up where you have that little gap between club and the, the ground. Uh, but again, little half shots. Shoulders are more relaxed here. It's certainly better. Arms are going to be a little straighter at address. And again, you're feeling like you have a lot of weight or pressure in this left leg. It's doing all the work for you on these little shots. Your objective here is just keep the arms as straight as possible. Okay, eventually, I would rather you not lengthen the swing out too much, keep it fairly short, learn to control that, and then when you get good at that, amp the speed up within that, that window, right? Don't try to make it longer right away. Learn how to move faster in those parameters, but certainly, Again, you're going to see how the upper body before started moving backwards, falling back away from the target, arms shorten up. This one, you keep the arms a lot straighter. Chest is more on top of that left foot. Okay, so now you're controlling where your arc is on the ground, and it's a longer flat spot on the ground. It's not so up and out. Right? You go down and then back up and out of the ground here on this one on the right. Longer flat spot, longer arc. It's easier to control this and repeat this. Okay? So I'd rather see you finish here than there. See the difference in your arms and where your weight is too, right? This left leg is basically, your whole body's lined up over that left leg rather than leaning away from the target. I got you. 